Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana and today we're going to be talking about my TV like 2024 book releases. Let's get going. So when I was researching 2024 releases, I actually didn't find a lot. So I don't know if it's too early or it probably is too, too early. We are still in March. So yeah, so I didn't find too much books in 2024. But before we start, I do want to mention some honorable mentions of 2023 book releases. So let's get going. So this one has, so Alexandra Backlin, she is the author of The Lord and she is coming out with a new book called Silver in the Bone and this is coming out in April 4th, 2023. And this is like the series opener inspired by the Athonian legend and fueled by love, revenge, and pure. And Joe Lennon. Tasman Luck didn't ask to be a hollow one. As a mortal with no magical talent, she was never meant to break into ancient crypts or compete with sorceresses and counting folk for the treasures inside. But after her thieving foster father disappeared without so much as a goodbye, it was the only way to keep herself and her brother Campbell alive. Ten years later, rumors are swirling that her guardian vanished with a powerful ring from Arthurian legend. A run-in with her rival enemies ignites Tammy Sun's hope that the ring could be free, could free Campbell from a curse that threatens both of them. But they aren't the only ones who commit the ring. As word spreads, greedy hollowers start circling, and many were killed to have it for themselves. While Emily's is the last person Thompson would choose to partner with, she needs all the help she can get to edge out, out to edge out her competitors in the race for the ring. Together they dive headfirst into a viper's nest of dark magic, exposing a deadly secret with the power to awaken ghosts of the past and shatter her last hope of saving her father. So if you're a fan of Chloe Gong, she's coming out with a new book called Immortal Longings and this is coming out on July 25th, 2023. And this is an adult epic fantasy debut inspired by Shakespeare, Antony, and Cleopatra. It's a fairy collision of power plays, spill blood, and romance amidst in a set of deadly games. We love those deadly games. Every year, thousands in the kingdom of Thailand will flock to its capital, Twin Cities, Sanan, when the palace hosts a set of games for those confident enough in their ability to jump between bodies. Competitors across Sanan fight to the death to win unimaginable riches. So, I'm excited. I actually do love Antony and Cleopatra, so I'm excited for this book. My honorable mention is Atalanta by Jennifer Saint. And this comes out on April 13, 2023. And when a daughter is born to the king of Arcadia, she brings only disappointment. Left exposed to her on a mountainside, the defenseless infant Atalanta is left to the mercy of a passing mother bear and raised alongside the cubs under the protective eye of the goddess Artemis. Swearing that she will prove her worth alongside the famed heroes of Greece, Atalanta leaves her forest to join Jason's band of Argonauts, but can she carve out her own place in the legends in the world made for men? Band with Chinese deities and demons and all that fun stuff. We have a book called Shanghai Immortal by A.Y. Xiao, and this comes on June 1st, 2023. Pawned by her mother to the King of Hell as a child, Lady Jing is half vampire have Holy Jing Fox spirit and all Sassel. As the king's ward, she has spent the past 90 years running errands, dodging the taunts of the spiteful heel Jing courtiers, and trying to control her explosive temper with varying levels of success. So when Jing overhears the courtiers plotting to steal a priceless dragon pearl from the king, she seizes her chance to expose them once and for all. With the help of a gentle mortal taxed with setting up the central bank of hell, Jing embarks on a wild chase for intel, first through hell and then mortal Shanghai. But when her hijinks put the mortal in danger, she must decide which is more important, avenging her loss of face or letting go of her half-empty approach to life 
for a chance to experience tenderness and made me even love. And Joanne He, she's the author of Strike the Zyther. She's coming out with a sequel called Storm the Gong and it will come out on October 24th, 2023. All her life, therefore, has tried to rise above her humble origins as a no-name orphan. Now she's a god in a warrior's body and never has she felt more powerless. Her lord lives in Ren, holds the Westlands, but her possession is tenuous. In the north, the Empress remains on the mere smile's thumb. In the south, the alliance with Sakana is in pieces. Fate also seems to have a different winner in mind for the three kingdoms, but Zephyr has no intentions of respecting it. She will pay any price to see Ren succeed, and she will make her enemies pay, especially one dark haired, one dark, dark eyed crow. What she will do when she finds out the truth that he worked for the South all along. Also, if you're a fan of Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy, or series, no, I think it was a trilogy. <laughs> then, uh, Kenny Miniscalco will be writing more of that world, where we'll, we will be following the Princes of Hell. So we have one that is called Throne of the, Throne of the Fallen, and it will come out on October 3rd, 2023. And I believe, so this will be following Prince of Envy. So we have Sender, Villain, Ruthless. These are wicked games the Prince of Envy welcomes. They remind him what he isn't, a saint. And when a cryptic note arrives signaling the beginning of a deadly game, he knows he'll be called much worse before it ends. Riddles, hex, objects, anonymous players, nothing will stand in his way. With the powerful artifact and his own future at stake, Envy is determined to win, though none of his meticulous plans prepares him for her. The frustrating artist who ignores his, who ignites his sin and passion like no other. I was kind of hoping that she would start off with Wrath because he is actually my favorite prince, but maybe she will after Envy, I don't know. But also, so, if you do like Chloe, Chloe Gong, she has the sequel for Foul Lady Fortune, it is Foul Heart Huntsman. And it will be coming out in September 26, 2023. Winter is drawing thick in 1932 Shanghai, and is the ever-nearing threat of a Japanese invasion. Rosalind Lung has suffered the worst possible fate for a national spy. She's been exposed. With the media star camped outside her apartment for the infamous Lady Fortune, she's barely left her bedroom in weeks following her next course of action after Ornie was taken and his memories of Rosalind wiped. Though their marriage might have been a sham, his absence hurts her more than any physical wound. She won't rest until she gets him back. All in the name of love! I'm just kidding. Okay, so now let's start with 2024 releases and I'm sure that's what you guys are here for. So, starting off with My Salty Mary by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. It is expected to come out on January 1st, 2024, and this is like Pirates of the Caribbean meets The Little Mermaid. I am excited. I really love how they write these books, and so I really like the first one, so I'm really excited for the, this one. So, Zana J. Shao, she has a sequel coming out for Iron Riddle, and that is Heavenly Tyrant. It will come out, or expected to come out. April 30, 2024. After suffering devastating loss and making drastic decisions, Natan finds herself at the seat of power in Horatia, but she also has learned that her world is not as it seems, and revelations about an enemy more daunting than Zetian imagined forces her to share power with a dangerous man she cannot simply depose, despite having vastly different ideas about how they must disconstruct the corrupt and misogynist system that plagues the country. Satan so must join this man in a dance of truth and lies and perform the roles to perfection in order to take down a common enemy who seeks to control them as puppets while dangling one of Satan's loved ones as a hostage. If you like Tasha Silly with The Jasmine Throne, she's coming out with her third book and it's expected to come out on January 1st, 2024. 
And I'm assuming you'll just continue where she left off from the sequel, the Orlando Dinosaur, I think that's what it's called. So I have yet to read this, but I'm hoping I'll get in time, but I probably won't. So we have expected publication April 2nd, 2024. It is by Mina Fierce, the Scorpion Queen. And that is all that we have. We have no plot, no nothing. It's just the title, so yeah. Another book by Jennifer Saint is called Untitled. <laughs> it's expected to come out on January 1st, 2024. And this novel features Hannah. So if you like Greek mythology, you'll probably like this book. And again, expected date, January 1st, 2024. We have For She Is Rock by Emily Ronica. And this is betrayed by her ex-lover and falsely excused of a crime she didn't commit. Danya comes to days for when she can exact her revenge. If only she didn't have a life sentence to serve with no hope of release. Again, expected. Publication January, what, January 1st, 2024. We have Dead Girls Walking by Sammy Ellis. So, Temple, serious killer's daughter, becomes a camp counselor to find out if her father really killed her mother. But things go wrong when campers start to go missing, and Temple realizes there may be a copycat hunting them. So, if you're a fan of Judy Island, she is the author of A Magic Steeped in Poison Duology, which I loved. She is coming out with a new book and it's expected to be released on January 1st, 2024. It is called Song of the Six Realms. It is like a dark gothic YA fantasy. Pitched as a Chinese mythology meets Daphne de Maudier's Rebecca. A young scholar boy, a young scholar buys the remaining years on an orphan's con girl's contract to play as his personal musician and his role manner. But she is in her but she is in for more than she bargained for when her new master is not human and she in his home is in the celestial realm. We so this book is is coming out on January 9, 2024. It is called Into the Shallows by Tanya Budding. And on New Year's Day, three fishermen haul a teenage girl out of the ocean. By the time they bring her to land, it's clear that she doesn't know where or who she is. Her story goes viral, the meeting comes in the Coletta, after the fisherman's boat. The rivers take a dark turn the next time the fishermen head out to the sea and fail to return. People say the Coletta lured them to their deaths, their lives in exchange for hers. And with that, the mystery becomes a legend. Eighteen months later, Mana Malakan means Nicolita, Nicolita, or Nicole, at a cafe. The two become best friends, but as Mana realizes she wants more from the relationship, Nicole remains oblivious, focused only on remembering. She may not want to, though. Could there be a reason she has locked everything behind a door? And once she's brave enough to open it, what will happen to her, to them? So expecting to come out on January 1st, 2024, June Hun, she is the author of The Red Palace, which I also really loved. And it is A Queen Among Wolves. And this is following a girl and a prince who must join forces to save her sister and the kingdom from King Yi Sun-gun, one of Korea's most hated tyrants. Political conspiracies, enemies to love, and one epic battle to end King Yi Sun-gun's reign of terror. I've actually researched a lot about Yin Sangun and uh, wow, he was a one atrocious king, like wow. The stuff that he did was just horrible and um, yeah, so he is really hated. But, so, but like out of all the kings, I really like King Sojong, I thought he was a cool one. But this guy, he is on another level, so I do recommend searching about him if you don't know. But um, he is, yeah, Yen Sang Gun is on another level. If you like mermaids and simons and all that fun stuff, we have Sing Me to Sleep by Gavin Burton, and this is supposed to come on June 27, 2023, but followed by a sequel which is expected to come out on January 1st, 2024. So Sing Me to Sleep, number one in the book, 
is that Simon must choose between protecting her family and following her heart in an plagiarist kingdom where her existence is illegal. Sayana is so Sokova and survives and lies, and her soldier in training at the most prestigious barracks in the kingdom, she lies about being assigned to avoid execution. At night, working as an assassin for a dangerous group of mercenaries, Sayonosa late lies about her true identity, and to her family, Sayonosa tells the biggest lie of all, that she can control her silent powers, and doesn't struggle constantly against an impulse to kill. If you like Julie Kangawa, I think she was the author of Shadow of the Fox trilogy, which I also liked. She's coming out with a new book. It's expected to come out on January 1st, 2024. It is called Fateless. It's a YA fantasy that follows a thieves and guild member and her comrades as they fight to see the city and the entire desert empire from the Deathless King. It is the story of Sparrow, a savvy thief, as she and her comrades try to save the desert world from the wrath of the Deathless King. Think Assassin's Creed meets P Prince of Persia. I really love Prince of Persia. I thought the movie was great. So I am excited about this book. So I am I'm just so excited about this. We have a lot of books that are expected to come out on January 1st. And this one is it. So on January 1st, 2024, we have Molly X. Shang who is writing a book to gaze upon wicked, ki wicked gods. And this is when a scientifically advanced Roman Empire colonizes a Chinese fantasy world. A young woman blessed with the power of death fights to survive while protecting those she loves. But when her magic is discovered by an enemy prince, she must decide if saving her family is worth betraying her country. We have again January 1st, 2024. It is called Crimson Crown by Hannah Walter. And this is a Twitter inspired retelling of the rise of Snow White's evil queen, in which a witch hunted by a zealous king infiltrates the religious faction who seeks to eradicate her kind, and must choose between loyalty to her coven or her heart. So again, expected January 1st, 2024, we have So and Burn by Camellia Cole, pitched as a Jamaican Joan of Arc five years after using divine magic to save her island from dragon riding colonizers, 17 year old Fallon must choose between unleashing, unleashing an evil force to break his sister's bond with the dragon or saving the world again, even if it means killing her sister. So, this one, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's about. So, this is Lady Macbeth. It will come out on January 1st, 2024, and this is like Cersei meets Wolf Half, a reimagining of Shakespeare play in which Lady Macbeth is given a voice of a voice of past and a power that transforms the story men have written for her. So I'm excited. So again with Alexander Blackie, she will be having a sequel for Silver and the Bone. It will come out in January 1st, 2024. If you like Bill and Donna by Adeline Grace, there is a sequel called Fox Glove. It will come out on August 2022, 2023. So, which Singer and Death face a supernatural fall, determined to tear them apart. And also, there is a third book in the Belladonna. So, which is Mysteria, it is a third book and it's ex expected to come out in January 1st, 2024. Oh, yeah, we have no plot yet. After a long search of searching and searching, I have finally found a retail of Encanto's. Yay! You know, I am just... Uh, it took me forever to figure out if there's a book that someone will hopefully write a book of Encanto's. And we have, so thank you Kay and Crum for writing a retail of Encanto's. And it's coming out on January 1st, 2024. You are saving me. <laughs> It took so long! We again expect in January 1st, 2024, we have Anatomy of a Betrayal by Grace Lee Lee. We have two Stanford graduate students and longtime academic rivals find themselves on the opposite sides of an FBI investigation when one is excused for spying off for the Chinese government 
and the other recruited as an informant to catch her. Inspired by the true con contemporary story of the persecution of Chinese American scientists and exploring questions about the role of studies in an increasingly nationalistic world, personal identity, and whether it's possible to ever be seen as American enough. So if you will like the inheritance of Arcondia Dominion by Zoraria Cordova, she is coming out with a new book by, which is called The Fall of Rebel Angels. It's also expecting on uh, January 1st, 2024. This is... is a love story between a woman suspected of murdering her former lover and a fallen angel who is cursed to search for his wings on Earth every 100 years. So that is the plot of this book. Um, I kind of want to read it. I'm not really a fan of like these fallen angels, things like that. It it's just so repetitive. But this one sounds interesting. And so far I really like what the author had given us before. So um, we will see about this one. So the next one, again, 20, January 1st, 2024. Oh, With Their Hands by Zoe Hanna Mikuta. This is Blood and Betrayal, me in the sapphic, Korean-inspired reimagining of Alice in Wonderland, which tells the tale of two girls whose twisted past comes to light as they are once again thrust into each other's lives and begging back to the dark, monster-filled forest where it all began, Wonderland. I'm kind of excited to see like this Korean-inspired reimagining of Alice in Wonderland. I don't think I ever read anything like that. So we have another one again, January 1st, 2024. My wallet is gonna cry. So I don't know why there's so much books coming out on January 1st, but like keep in, keep in mind these uh, release date can be delayed, can be changed for whatever reason. So keep that in mind. I do recommend you know, at least so and often to check back if the releases have been changed dates, so. But regardless, this is Untitled, and it, it is the first book in probably a series, I guess it says, The Gods Below, and it is by Andrea Stewart. The series is set in a world banished by ancient magic, where precious gemstones bestow magical abilities on a few individuals able to harness the power. Flow of clan clandestine power struggles in the battles between gods. The story follows Hakana, a young woman searching for a missing sister, and who will do anything to find her, even lead a rebellion against the gods themselves. That can never be a good thing. Finally, our last book, January 1st, 2024, it is The Voyage of the Damned by Francis White. The novel follows Ganymedes, who, along with eleven others, boards the dragon's dawn, as the voyages throughout the mythical Con Con Concordia. But shortly after the ship sets sail, someone is murdered, and, if it, and it isn't long before the body count begins to rise. It is up to Ganymedes to unmask the killer before everyone on board. Is them. Uh, I'm just kidding. I actually have a few more to talk about 2024 releases. And that is It Waits in the Forest by Sada Does. It is expected to come out on January 1st, 2024. It is a YA supernatural thriller inspired by the Caribbean folk horn of Buttergirl who gets pulled into a string of mysterious murders on her island home. So this one is expected to come out on February 1st, 2024. And this is A Fake Inked in Blood by Daniela L. Jensen. And this is about a shield made and blessed by the gods becomes trapped in a union with the power-hungry. Jal convinced she is fated to make him king, eager to prove her strength and survive the machinations of both the Jal and his cruel wife, Freya must train to fight and learn to control her magic. While battling her dangerous attraction to the jaws of an unbeatable and witty warrior who wields the fire of the gods. Filled with forbidden romance, spice, and magic, a fate inked in blood needs you to be on your good read show. I like how she puts that. 
And my next one is also expected to come out on January 1st, 2024. That is The Temptation of Magic by Megan Scott. Nicole Palmer has needed to study the supernatural art in a local Cornish manual for years. And Conan in, in, in it is the last message from her mother on how to stay from the wake. The organization that, go, that governs all supernaturals. As an emperor, Nicole has an ability to hunt and kill dangerous creatures, making her invaluable. But if her power was ever triggered, they would find her, use her, and then kill her, like they did her mother. This one is come, expected to come out on February 10, 2024. It is called The Crimson Moth by Christine Ciccarelli. It is a romantic scarlet pimpernel inspired YA fantasy with post-revolution witches. All that we have for the book. This is coming out on April 2nd, 2024. We have Evergreen by David Greenlee. This is an M. MM debut, so male and male debut, YA paranormal romance pitched as Rapunzel meets the secret garden. I love the secret garden. In which the powerless son of a dyad needs to find out who broke into the magical garden and stole a dangerous plant before it destroys the city. And the prime suspect is the cute new guy next door. Then this is also expected to come out on January 1st, 2024, that is We Shall Be Monsters by Tara Sim. It is Mary Shelley meets Indian mythology where a young woman desperate to rescue her sister escapes accusations of witchcraft by joining a group of rebels on the condition she raises the rightful prince from the dead. That can never go wrong, right? That can never go wrong. Uh, also expected on January 1st, 2024, we have The Floating World by Axie O. And she's the author of The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea, if you're wondering why that sounds familiar. So this is a YA fantasy duology inspired by Celestial Maidens from Korean myth and pitched as Final Fantasy meets Castle in the Sky. Oh, I do like Final Fantasy. <laughs> An amnesic sword for hire and a theater troupe performer with mysterious powers discovered that their destinies will change the fate of multiple worlds. So, I have yet to read Song, Song of Silver or Flame Like Night by Amelie Wenzel, but she is coming out with a sequel, which is ex expected on January 1st, 2024. So, I still have time to read it. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to. But I'm not sure that I'm gonna get the book done this month. It is for my March TV yard, but um, I'm not sure. I'm hoping I will get it done before next year. On February 27, 2024, we have Illusions of Fire by Nisha Sharma. That's all that we have. There's no summary yet. It's person, as I said, February 27th. So yeah, that's it. On March 1st, 2024, we have the Remnant Games by Monarchy Fuston. A YA fantasy pitched as all of us villains meets Kingdom of the Wicked when Bly enters a competition held by a warning vampire in which kingdoms she has one goal. Deliver a vampire prince to the witches so they will rescue her sister, who is only dead because of Bly. But things get complicated when she starts to fall for the vampire she's supposed to hand over. So, exciting stuff. So we have The Final Curse of Ophelia Gray by Christine Carelli. Carelia. This is supposed to come out on January 1st, 2024. It is a fantastical YA adventure, but the bonds of sisterhood set against the ambiguous morality of the high seas for fans of Our Flag Means Death. So on January 1st, 2024, we have The Dark Fable by Catherine Hanborn. And that is all that we have. There's no summary yet, but I'm hoping there will be. But, um, yeah. Okay, so now those are all the books from 2024. Of course, there will be more as the time goes on. But this is just some of the stuff I am excited to read in 2024. So now please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!